Morning. Can I ask you a question this morning? Do you tweet? Have you tweeted already? Have you jumped out of bed and thought, I have to speak to the world on Twitter? Or, as far as you're concerned, maybe it's something that just birds do and they've woken you up quite nicely this morning. Did you know it's estimated that around 12 million people in the UK use social media sites such as Twitter to get in touch with everyone? And with me in the studio this morning is a man who loves to tweet, the Reverend Jim Craig, who is the Church of England's only full-time arts chaplain and lives and works in Gateshead. Good morning. 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 Now, you're, you're a bit Twitter crazy, aren't you now? Do you explain, well, explain first of all the medium of Twitter to anybody who's not au fait with it. Um, well, it's... it's, it's social media and you've only got 140 characters to say something to express yourself mm. so if you think about that 140 letters it's only around often a couple of dozen words at the most so you have to be brief concise uh, you have to be interesting mm -hmm. um mm. you have to post lots of photographs and i'm going to be posting a picture <laughs> of us both <laughs> <He's just laughs> behind the console yeah. about two minutes ago <laughs> oh dear do you tweet about lots of things or is it mainly church of england stuff well, the last week has been mainly church of england stuff stuff as I've taken over this at our C of E campaign um, but usually I'm, I, I tend to go off piece now and again so I do tweet about <laughs> services and um, arts projects and things like that but the last three nights I've been retweeting jokes just because I thought yeah, you know, people listening. On the Church of England yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. did wonder whether I might get told off. And, and <laughs> for, have you? For, no. <laughs> good, good. But this is my they last day today, jokes. so... <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. What was the idea about the Church of England actually having its own Twitter account in the first place? Well, it's had its Twitter account for a while. There is an, an at C of E, <clears throat> which is the official sort of one run by the communications officer. Mm -hmm. um, but this is inspired by something that started in Sweden, where the people of Sweden were invited to take over this account for a week at a time and, and shout about what how great it is living in Sweden, basically, to oh. sh show the world what they get up to and, and <laughs> a, maybe a them to live over there, I don't know. So uh, this has gone viral. It's known as Curation Rotation. Oh, so, I like it. Yeah, it sounds it's good, catchy. doesn't it? yes. So the idea is that um, <clears throat> a member of the CV doesn't have to be a uh, clergy, uh, will run this account for a week for a whole year. It's about a month in now, and I guess as arts chaplain... Uh, the powers that be looked at it and thought, "Oh, we'll have him." Yeah, yeah. And it, have you enjoyed it? Have you found it intrusive anyway? Anyway, or have you thought, oh, "Are people going to be interested in this?" Well, because I realise that not many people have heard of arts chaplaincy. It's been a fantastic opportunity to shout about it, and there's been loads going on this mm -hmm. week, from judging Easter bonnet competitions to iPad workshops, and uh, and. And uh, yeah, and and uh, installing artwork in in the gallery in the church. So there's been loads happening, and um, yeah, it's a brilliant opportunity. Um, what kind of response have it. you been getting back though? Because there'll be a lot of people coming across and going, "What's this about? This is interesting." Yeah, ninety nine percent has been positive. There was um, someone questioning whether judging an Easter bonnet contest was the kind of right thing for an arts chaplain to be doing. You know, perhaps I should sure. be in a gallery or something. But uh -huh. um, but it was it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, huge responsibility because I had to judge the teachers at B Primary School in Gateshead and I thought, oh if I get this wrong, they're not going to let me back in. Oh dear. So you've been responsible for this account for, what, a week now? Nearly a week. Will you ever want to get it back? Uh, have you found it part of your life that's acceptable or has it just been a bit too much? It's been brilliant, but it <laughs> does get a little bit addictive really? in, in, in that uh, you're encouraged to tweet at least three times a day mm. and uh, every time I've had a minute to spare like, I get home and I should be preparing for my next activity I think I'll oh, just go online and have a look <laughs> and um, and I suppose you feel responsible so when someone's asking you a question or responding you think oh yep I can I can do this because mm. uh, you know um, now, I've got my phone say, and you're saying it, it's a little addictive some people argue that it's quite isolating they're worried for the you know especially the teenage population the younger generation getting involved with this and, and living alone talking to nothing and nobody but cyberspace via a phone or a tablet have you found it more connecting then? Definitely more connecting. Oh. Now, even though um, I've, I've got wonderful colleagues in Gateshead and, uh, and, and a great family, uh, I'm a strange creature and I'm officially <laughs> a chaplain on paper, but I'm also what they call a team vicar, kind of, in that I look after three churches, well, helps look after three churches. Um, so um, so it's, it's, it's hard to describe exactly what I do. Mm. And chaplains usually have weekends off, which, um, which I don't. So it's been good to connect. And it's actually led to a conversation with a colleague, um, um, Adele Phillips, during the week, mm -hmm. who's what we call a minister in secular employment. Now, we had a really good conversation because she does something similar in that um, her, she's got her day job and she does this 
chaplaincy, she's ordained as well. So she's a vicar in the workplace. And we had this great conversation, which I thought, isn't that strange? Um, she's been in Gateshead for six years, and this Twitter kind of experience has... Uh, it's just brought you together. Brought us together. It's <laughs> fantastic. It's great conversation. Well, that's the kind of conversations everybody wants to have, isn't it? Something that leads to something, yeah, builds a great, yeah. you know, uh, relationship. I've got to ask you, though, do you think if Jesus was with us today, do you think he'd use Twitter? What would Jesus tweet? Exactly. I think he would. Yeah, I think he would. He'd, he'd, maybe he'd do the curation rotation thing and do it a bit <laughs> and then realise that actually there is more important things to do at the end of the day, like heal people. And, sure. You know, so I'm sure he'd pass it, on, pass it on to the disciples <laughs> or something like that. But yeah, I'm sure he would be. It's the brevity that works for me because it forces you to really look at um, what you've done in the last day um, and, and, and shrink it and, and analyse it and, and, and have it in a nutshell, I suppose. It's a form of contemplation. Take all the waffle out. Yes, yeah. indeed. I think I should maybe practice that a little more as well. It's been exciting to hear from you. What is your next project after this is passed on? Well, I heard you talking about the Great North Passion yes. a moment ago. And yeah. um, uh, there's, there's a container in, in Gateshead at, um, at Co Music at the Sage, which mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've been working with. So uh, you might see me on the broadcast. Oh, fantastic. It's going out on Good Friday. Oh, well, we, we'll keep an eye out. I'm sure you'll be tweeting. Absolutely. If anyone wants to follow you on Twitter, how do we find you? What is your at name? My name this week, is, well, until tomorrow, is at our C of E, all one word. Uh, and for the rest of the time, I'll be at James O.M. Craig, which I chose because I thought it lent me a bit of gravitas rather than just Jim. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. rev Jim. So at James O.M. Craig or at our C of E for the rest of the day. Fantastic. Thank you for coming in this morning. It's lovely to hear from you. And, and I'm following you on Twitter and I'll continue to follow um, your hour C of E as well. See what the next person has to mm. offer. Thank you very much.